In this video, I'll be sharing with you the secrets used by card sharks as well as magicians to locate cards in a shuffle pack of cards. And the best part of it all is, it's easy to do and you can even do it with your eyes closed. Hey there awesome people and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the secrets to control cards even if the deck has been shuffled. It'll be unfair if I shuffle the cards myself, so I got a pair of hands to help me shuffle the pack of cards. That seems to be a very good shuffle. <laughs> okay, so now that the cards have been shuffled, I'm gonna try and see whether I can locate the 4 aces by cutting the pack. Okay, so that's ace number 1. Ace number 2. Ace number 3. This is how I control the card. First, you need to take out the 4 aces. After you have taken out the 4 aces, what you want to do is bend them horizontally like this. Slot the cards into the pack. To get to the aces, simply cut the deck and it will automatically be the top card. Just like that. You can have the card shuffle, no problem. All you need to do is cut the deck and the card will be there. Okay, I'm back. Allow me to keep my mask in this mask holder. Here's another idea for you. Apart from cutting to aces, you can cut to random cards such as a 2 of spades 2 of spades, 10 of clubs, 8 of diamonds and 9 of hearts Now this may seem like randomly picked cards but nothing in life is random The mask case that you saw was actually a prediction Like I have said, nothing in life is random These 4 cards happens to be the exact same cards that was randomly cut to early on. To achieve this prediction, you simply have to bend the cards prior to the performance. Pretty much similar to the 4 aces at the beginning of this video. The mask case prediction idea was inspired by Harapan Ong. I've left his link at the bottom, so please feel free to check him out if you want to make your very own mask case prediction. Now the downside to this whole entire method that I've been sharing with you so far is that you know, sometimes when you cut the cards, you may cut it at a wrong natural break or some sort of that. Now, you will probably have these problems if you are using like an older deck. Now, I'm using a new pack of cards, so that makes things much, much easier. But of course, if you're using an old pack of cards, then there's this method or this performance, which I will show it to you, which makes it so much easier and there's no need of any cutting of any sort. The best part of it all is, you can even get the spectator to select the card from the pack of cards. This is how it looks like. Alright guys, so we've come towards the end of this whole entire video. Remember to comment down below if you have any questions or if you want to learn a new trick, let me know and who knows, I might pick that trick and do a tutorial in the next video. Now also at the same time, I will appreciate if you smash that like button and also subscribe to this channel on the notification bell as well so you will know whenever there's a new video. In the meantime, stay awesome people and I'll see you guys in the next video.